that I teach is Art 175 and uh, in Introduction to the Graphic Narrative. And I think people take it because, you know, it's, it's the comics course, which, I mean, can have different interpretations for different people. Either people think it's going to be a very easy course, or people think well, it'll be a fun course, or people think like, okay, this will be a course where I finally get to do what I want. I'm really into comics. Now I get, to, I get the excuse of being in a class where I get to do this thing I really like, so this is going to be great. Truth be told, I'm not really interested in Superman comics, superhero comics, anything that's too action-driven or plot-driven. Um, I know that I love kind of painterly illustration, but I also love narrative. Now I'm majoring in creative writing. I needed to figure out a way with the guidance of an instructor to tell a story and not just keep beating around the bush until a reader wasn't interested anymore. Um, so I think that this class helped me to kind of distill what I was already doing. The concept is that it's basically how do you tell, how do you tell a story with, with pictures? How do you tell a story visually? You know, it's, it's a mix of, it's kind of like creative writing, but you have to draw them. You have to draw instead of just do all prose. Well, I think the class just provided me sort of an extra, you know, motivation of having, you know, to see the project through and get started. Um, I mean, I sort of had ideas for comics that were sort of, you know, short, like one-page things, and um, I just never sort of got started on them. So I think having sort of the uh, little bit of guidance, I guess you could say, in the early stages and um, sort of, you know, having to bring your stuff in for review every week or so. I feel like that was the extra sort of motivation to get started. My comics are, are in a way, extremely autobiographical, but I really, really like that I have the option to bend fiction, you know, bend ideas to my will to make the stories more what I want so that I don't feel constrained. I have room for creativity. I can invent characters. I can invent scenarios. Even if they're based on real life things, even if what people say is things that have really been said, couching them in the form of fictional characters just gives me s such a larger toolbox to work with. I like that. Well, I mean, I think one of my biggest problems, I didn't think I could come up with like any type of story or plot line. Um, so when I you know, sort of read the class description, I thought it was interesting, but I sort of hesitated. I didn't know if I could like do it or come up with a good story. Um, so, you know, I found that once I had sort of, you know, a beginning of an idea, um, I actually really liked sort of the coming up with the story as far as like the A to B to, you know, it was sort of like an interesting, uh, sort of like creative problem solving, you know, figuring out how to move a story along. I think people are initially concerned that like, you know, oh, I, I don't want to show my work, I'm ashamed. Uh, you know, I, I don't think it's as good as somebody else's, but when other students see your work, the response is always positive. It's always like, oh, that's really cool what you're doing. Oh, that's, that's cool what you're doing. People get really excited seeing each other's work. And I know that when my students show their friends and family what they're doing, they're like, oh my goodness, you're, you're doing a thing. So I feel like that kind of positive feedback is, is, will allow you, is what really empowers you and, and gives you the ability to do art for years and years and years. It's that you can get this instant response of people of people you know or, or other artists saying, that's really cool what you're doing. Well, it was pretty recent that I started my blog. Um, and I did it because I realized, and it's something that I got from this class, that even if I'm not 100% thrilled and I don't think I'm reaching my complete potential with one illustration, say, or one comic, um, I need to put things out there to get feedback. I'm not going to be perfect in the beginning, and a lot of people aren't, but if I keep things to myself my entire life and, and go nuts over every little line, then I'm, I just don't think I'm ever going to progress. <laughs>took with uh, Professor Enrico. Um, the reason I, I feel that I, I 
came away uh, with a lot from the class. He was, he was very down to earth and he taught us the fundamentals of, you know, just basic what we needed. I think for certain students, it was really like an amazing moment for them to realize they could create something, right? That I give the students a lot of free reign to kind of do whatever they want to do, to, to, to make the piece of art that they want to make. Because in all reality, they might never draw a comic again. So my hope is that, OK, you do what you want on this first one, and I'll just kind of monitor you. I'll help you. I'll guide you through this process. And if at the end you enjoyed it and you realized you like it, and I don't know that all of them will, but maybe one, two, three, a few of them will, then I can say, OK, this was good. Let's do the next one. And that is really my hope for this, is that people who only thought about doing a comic or never thought they could can come away from the class saying, all right, I'm glad he got me through this initial step, got me through this first comic. I'm ready to do my next one.